There are some goals that are an absolute work of art. And when the goal horn sounds, it's music to our ears. But how are blues players able to create such masterpieces? Keep watching to learn how the brains of these artists work. Musicians have an ear for music. They can uncover layers of sounds and hear details in music most of us don't. But did you know the way a blues hockey player's brain processes sounds can be just as dynamic? It may sound surprising, but thanks to their brains, athletes hear sounds differently. Making sense of sound is an incredibly complex process for the brain, especially considering it's getting the signals for balance and sound from the ears. When it comes to sound, the brain must decipher the difference between the crowd, teammates, opponents, skates, the puck, and more. Knowing which sounds to listen to and which to filter out is something an elite athlete's brain can do better than almost anyone else's. Hockey players are literally able to quiet their brains and turn down the outside noise to focus on the most important sounds of the game. Understand what those sounds mean, anticipate what's going to happen next, and then choose how the body should respond. During a game, a player's brain is constantly processing what they're hearing and what they're seeing. How are they able to quickly process so much information to make split-second decisions? Believe it or not, the brains of hockey players and musicians have more in common than just audio processing. Through years of playing, both have rewired the paths in which information travels through the brain, so it takes the most efficient path from point A to point B. By speeding up these neural networks, hockey players can process the information from all their senses and process it faster to make decisions in a split second. Playing as long as I did, skating is like breathing. I don't even think about it, I just do it. So what's going on in the brain that allows that to happen? Repetition from practice leads to what a lot of people might call muscle memory. As musicians or athletes practice and master skills, the memory of the motor functions needed to perform a task, like strumming a guitar or skating, become encoded into their brains. But someone new to the game hasn't played enough to create that motor memory. They will require more effort to focus first on how to skate while also holding a stick and handling a puck. Because of this, they are likely to struggle processing and reacting to anything else happening around them. But blues players, they don't have to think about any of those basic motor functions. Their frontal lobes can focus on what to do with the puck, thinking through every possible scenario in a tenth of a second. And when you think about how creative players can be, they really are artists. The sounds of the game are music to my ears, and now I know why. That's the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey.